Hey, audio evangelists. I met Chameleon Labs founders Brian and Garth in Tchotchke Hall in the basement of the 2003 Anaheim NAMM show. Back then, I was the national director of Pro Rodeo Sales at Guitar Center, and Dan Alexander had been kidding up buckets of Neve 1272s for me to sell through the chain. Unfortunately, we had exhausted the world's supply, so I needed an alternative. Enter the Chameleon Lab 7602. This was an $800 Chinese copy of a Neve 1073 that even Tape Op favored in a review. Remember, this was back before everyone was eating their own tails, copying anything that even had a whiff of vintage. Have you auditioned the Brighton Pimp Cutter? They were used by the Delirium Tremens monks to record bats in belfries. You know, they're all the rage in Vatican City. Fast forward to 2014, and the company was acquired by electronics designer Marcello Vercelli, a 30-year pro-audio veteran who created products and patents for companies like Avent, Mackie, RCF, and KV2. They invested two years and a mountain of cash for research and development into the total ground-up redesigns of the 7602 and 7720, both new incartations now performing in an utterly different sonic weight class thanks to tech like discrete EQ op amps, proprietary wound input and output transformers, SMT construction, vetted film resistors, and custom internal universal power supplies fueling fat voltage rails. This catapulted them out of the copycat classification into the annals of modern American design with a tip of the hat to British sensibilities. In 2022, they approached Audio Alchemist with an offer to sell us the company. This would provide the funding and vision needed to take Chameleon Labs to the next level of evolution. Since the acquisition, we've built a healthy inventory of 7603s and 7721s. Behind the scenes, we've embarked upon new chimerical revelations. Keep your eyes primed on the audio event horizon.